What makes art significant? I'm going to use two quotes to help me communicate my point. And the first is Rudolf Steiner, who says, art shows the consciousness of man throughout the ages. Which basically means that artists are, are messengers and their art is like a map for those who follow after them. Said by Theresa Pinkler Estes. So like a writer, let's say Shakespeare, Anton Chekhov, or any poetry, songs, their art tells a story about the artist and it also tells a story about the time that they lived in, which makes it a story about humankind. In Waldorf education, developed by Rudolf Steiner, the, the students meet um, or do a certain time in art history and a specific stage in their development. I remember when I was still teaching at Waldorf and um, we were doing the workshops and, and, and the courses, we would, we would sit and listen to a story and then the next day we would come back and we would do a piece of art, either with pastel or watercolor paint. I was no expert, <laughs> but um, I enjoyed it so much that I applied it to the stories that I was reading in Women Who Run With The Wolves. In the art course that my play is based on, we look at the history of art with your, with your own biography running parallel based on the Waldorf Principle. It was like um, meeting the little one on the inside, the inner child, as some would say. And at the same time, art is important because it commemorates a special or tragic event in one's own life journey, said by Madame Estes. We started with, with cave painting, and the hunter-gatherers, and our very first task was to make an earland out of soft pastel. You know the, the uh, buck with the long horns that make a V? Mm. Yeah, we, 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 we were supposed to make an earland with a... Mm. And I, I of course knew exactly, um, I, knew, I knew exactly how to make an earland. I, I, I made one, it, it resembled, resembled, you know, uh, one sort of, you know. <clears throat> we were then asked to sit in a circle and we were taken through this exercise to and told to imagine that you have a big box in front of you with lots of toys. And you're digging through these toys, they're your toys, and you're trying to find the very first one that you ever played with. So, you know, back to the ages like four, five, or as far as you can remember. But instead of them being your toys, is your memories. So you're trying to, to dig through your memories to find your very first one. Can you remember yours? 